In Calaveras County tonight, the town of Valley Springs is still in mourning over the horrific murder of eight-year-old Layla Fowler. These images that you will only see on Crown 4 show police looking for clues as they search the crime scene, trying to find the child's killer. Crown 4 J.R. Stone has the latest in the investigation. They need to be observant of the area and their surroundings. Keep their doors locked. If they see anything suspicious, to let us know. The warning's still there. Four days after eight-year-old Layla Fowler was murdered inside her home. Her killer is still on the loose. Really, we're still in the, the beginning stages, but we are making progress, a lot of progress. Layla was stabbed to death around noon Saturday. Authorities say it appears unlikely, but they're looking to see if this man may be related to the case. A suspect arrested for an attempted kidnapping in Placerville on Tuesday. They're testing DNA to see if it matches what was found at the crime scene. From what I've been told, it could take up to two weeks for the DNA analysis and results to come through. Um, we're, of course, hoping, hoping that it'll be a, a shorter time period. But that is just some of what is happening. The sheriff's office is also looking into an Oakland case for any possible links. Investigators are searching for surveillance video. And finally, detectives on the case have interviewed all sex offenders and parolees in the area. Uh, right now, we don't believe that any of them are, are a suspect. They haven't been named as a suspect. As to how much the family has been questioned, it is unclear. Authorities will only say they are grieving outside of the county. Sergeant Hewitt does tell me several knives were recovered at the house, but it's unclear if they were used in this stabbing. In Calaveras County, J.R. Stone, Cron 4 News.